Good morning, y'all. Look, I'm giving you this disclaimer right now. This is going to be a very ratchet video, okay? Because I don't actually have time. I just came from the gym. I have to hop in the shower. I'm trying to organize some of the stuff, the accessories and furniture that I have for three different clients. And I also have to get over to a client's house because I got to help them pick out a paint color for a tween's bedroom that I'm getting ready to do and install on in the next couple of weeks. So I know you guys have been asking me to see some hauls especially over on my IG stories y'all have been asking me to see that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the things that I have so far now I'm gonna start thinking about using more of an indoor um, storage unit to uh, store all of my stuff because it's not working keeping it in my house um, anymore and I already have some units that I use but they're not for like um, immediate installs that's just inventory that I pick through mostly for when I need something specific for a client but when I know that I need it for a certain install I'll be keeping it in my house and y'all it's not working so let me run through what I have really quickly. I'll even give you some of the details on it. I got a lot of the stuff from a lot of the stores that all of us shop at on a day-to-day -day basis like At Home, Kirkland's, TJ Maxx, Marshall's, Target. And I have a couple of special vendor friends that um, hooked me up on some really good deals on some of the area rugs that I bought. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And um, yeah, let's get right on into it. Before I get into the haul though, I just want to show y'all this lovely, lovely bench that we picked up. I had been eyeing this bench at uh, Home Goods probably for, you know, I'm not going to say eyeing it. I saw it, I liked it, but then I was like, you know, Casey, you really don't need it. And I think it was like $149 at the time that I saw it. And I was like, I don't really need it. However, babe and I went to the store maybe about a month ago and we saw it and it was on clearance for $79. So I ended up buying it and just using it at my kitchen table. So... I really like this bench right here, so it's really nice. But anyway, getting into the haul. So here is a runner that I picked up. This is actually for our home. So, gosh, if I can show you guys here. This is, ah, hold on, hold on. I told y'all this was going to be a ratchet haul. So this rug is an oriental weavers rug it was originally an eight by an 11 and a half inch rug and one of my vendors was selling it let me let me back up no that's not what it was i went to one of my vendors and i saw the rug and i wanted it as an the eight by 11 and a half but when we unrolled it we saw that it had some damage so instead of him you know tossing or salvaging the rug i had him cut it down to an eight by two and a half so that I can use it as a runner in front of my sink. But this would have looked really incredible over there in our living room, but I couldn't get the whole rug like that. This one, my friend gave me the hookup on this. I can't even give you how much of a hookup because you know, it was sweet, real sweet. Um, who is calling me? Hold on y'all never fails every time I try to record but see that's my fault because I should have turned the ringer off so anyway like I was saying I got the runner cut down so that I could use it in my kitchen like I'm using this one I really really love this runner that we have in front of our sink it's just really a nice muted herringbone uh, weave so I really like that one but I also like that one too and so whenever I need to change this one out and get it cleaned or whatever I can always have this one to put down and it's still going to look pretty nice in the kitchen now let me show you out here in the boom boom room really quickly there's not too much out here but I just wanted to show you just a quick peek in there that I have a chair in there it doesn't have the legs on it yet but I was showing you that first before I walked around the house to show you something else and I didn't have to come back this way so I was also cleaning out the refrigerator oh and if I got if I didn't tell you guys if y'all haven't seen my IG stories look I told y'all I was gonna level up my cast iron game and I wanted to start investing in more Le Creuset Dutch ovens well I happened to go to bargain hunt one day and even though this isn't a Dutch oven this is a brand new enamel cast iron skillet from Le Creuset if you can see it there you go. It's a 10 and a quarter inch. This size retails on the Le Creuset website and in Williams-Sonoma for a hundred and I think this is a hundred and sixty, a hundred and seventy or a hundred and eighty dollars it retails for. And I got it for three dollars. 
three dollars and um yeah brand new and everything it didn't come with the box the girl didn't really know what brand it was if you know anything about bargain hunt bargain hunt is a store where you really have to hunt for a bargain there was no price on this so i took it to the register and was like hey what's the price and the girl looked up what they sell skillets for and she gave it to me for the lowest price she can give it to me which was three dollars and i snatched this bad boy right on up and ran about the store and didn't look back so cleaning out the refrigerator so that stuff is right there this wall art is totally not my thing, but it's totally my client's thing. This is a hand-painted, uh, you know, just regular big box store painting. But I actually ended up getting this from a vendor friend of mine. I paid $135 for this, and it's going in my client's home. Here, right here, these are two cathedral mirrors. They're actually going to be customized a little bit more than this. These came from a vendor and they were $125 a piece so they're going to get customized a little bit more because the shade they're off in shade just a little bit now before y'all start complaining about the lighting and that you can't see sorry boo boo can't help you uh and then here is that chair that was out in the boom boom room that I just showed you nice don't look like that chair over there that chair is about beauty and that's mine that chair is beautiful <laughs> I hate when people do that beautiful gorgeous that gets on my ding nerves but anyway that's a nice chair this one is really nice too and it looks really stunning with the uh, legs attached as well this chair uh, was four hundred dollars I bought two of those so it was four hundred dollars I picked these up from Jasmine Main online these were delivered about two weeks ago this table this gold hammered coffee table was $115. I picked this up from Bargain Hunt. This stool back here I picked up from Outrageous Interiors. I'm actually going to end up using it as a side table. This was originally $90. Well, actually it was $90 in their clearance. And then it was 50% off over the Black Friday weekend. So I got it for $45. So that, this rug that you see down here on my floor right now, I'm going to give you guys a better view of that in a different um, video because now I have to change everything in my living room. But this rug right here I got from my vendor friend. Again, this rug is a $2,500 rug. It is an 8 by 11 and 3 quarters, I think, rug. It's not like a, an exact shape or anything. And it's twenty. it was a $2,500 rug. And... If I told y'all the deal that I got on this rug, y'all would want to bust me upside my head. So I let's just say it was over 50% off of that price, and uh, I kept it for myself. But it's really nice. It's got muted shades of blue and green, and it just really kind of goes with the effect that I'm trying to have in this living room. Plus, I needed a better rug down here because if y'all remember from before, I had an indoor-outdoor rug, which was really, really nice, but it was shifting too much on me, and I got tired of doing that. And let's turn them on turn real fast because I want y'all to see all that mess over there. And then I'm going to show you what's going on in this living room, in this dining room. Okay, so right here is another rug. This one is a cheaper rug. It is an 8x10 rug. This is for the tween's bedroom. This one retailed, I think, for about $199. I got this one for $45 from my friend. It is a brand new rug, but I'll give you a peek. Can y'all see? Can y'all get a sneak peek? Let me see if I can get you in the light here a little bit. Um, but you guys can kind of see what it looks like. It's got some blues and browns and pinks in there, and it's going to look really nice. This is also a rug that is going in the tween's room, pink and cream. This is a Target rug. We picked this up from Bargain Hunt. I do like this one a little bit better because it's a little bit more quality than this one, but it's this one is perfect for a, kid, a teenager's room because... It just is. And so is this one. And like I said, $50 here on this one. The rug underneath here is from the at home store. This is an 8x10. This one was $300. That's going to go in a client's home. These uh, pieces of wall art, this is actually a part of a triptych set. So there's two here. And then there is one over here. Over there. Can y'all see that? These were $60 a piece. So there's what one looks like. There's what that one looks like. Black frame. Black and gold frame. There. These are also for 
the tweens room just a set of two this is a diptych a set of wall art so that's going to go in their room i got some new pillows for their bed um, for one of my clients, just a basket. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. For another one of my clients, I picked up a mirror. This is going to style their foyer entryway table. I got that from uh, whatever that says. What's that? Marshalls, TJ Maxx. It was $70. Was it $70? Yeah. No. Yeah, it was $70. That mirror right there. So that's going to style their entryway table when they come in the house. I didn't give you the price on these, but this bundle right here came from Bargain Hunt. That was $27. The pillows, I think, were like, you know, uh, $25. This basket was $19. I picked up this rod, um, but I'm taking that back to, the, well, I'm just going to keep it. It was really cheap, but I'm not using that. This basket came from Kirkland's. I do like this basket. I, I would love to have it for myself, but I have nowhere to put it. This was, uh, how much was this? This was on clearance for $20. Can y'all see that? $20. I also picked up a couple of regular candles because these are always good when you style. So when you do the reveal, you light those and they look magnificent. So that the chair that this is sitting on, this Lipa Tulip chair, retails for $211. I got a steal of a deal. It was $77. And I'm going to be using that in the tweens room. I really love it. It swivels. It's so comfortable. And I think it's a great, great chair. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to recover the cushion because, um, I don't know, I really do like the contrast of the black and white and everything, especially against all the other stuff that I'm going to be putting in her room. But it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm up in the air about that. Just, I don't know. And then there's the third piece of art from the triptych over there. So real quick, I'm going to keep on going. This newspaper's burlap uh, in wood frames. This is also going in the tween's room. Here are some of the things that are going on her bed. I'm actually going to get her a little bit more bedding because this is just like the throws and things to go over it but all opal house stuff i picked up from bargain hunt the price on this was twenty dollars the price on this opal house pillow um i wasn't sure this was twelve dollars here um so that's going on her bed i picked her up a couple of faux uh flower bundles here i don't know what you call those what do you call those y'all i don't know um and then i picked her up a pink throw this was six dollars a velvety throw and then i bought her a opal house another opal house throw for one of her accent chairs because she has two accent chairs that are also going in her room those are out in the garage i'm not showing you guys those because i don't feel like going out there and i don't feel like dragging them in the house but this is also opal house and i got this for 17 dollars. so a great discount off of the regular price in target here is of a topped vase that I'm using. I'm also using these. I always love these bookends in Target. You guys have seen these. I picked that up for $9 at Bargain Hunt. She's going to get a nice gold elephant. I like elephants. Elephants are always a sign of good luck. And this one is very um, teenage and childlike, even though I know some grown folks that will put that in their house. But that's not what I'm going to be doing um, in my space. But I will do it for a child's room. This pillow here, it's you can't really get a good look on it but this is also a pillow that I'm using for um, one of the installs this I think how much was this this came from the at-home store and I think it was like $19.99 let me look yep it was $19.99 so here's some other stuff I don't think I really need to give you all the pricing on all this is regular everyday stuff so some vases, some bulb. These, I really love. These two bulb vases are so cute to me. A little cheesy and cute, but I do really love those. This gold and white curled leaf. Can y'all see that? That's really cute. That came from the at-home store. And that was $24.99. I picked up some candles from Kirkland's. For styling, these picture frames came from World Market. They, I think, were like, this one was $20, $19.99. And I think this one, this black and gold one back here, was $16. Nope, it was actually $13, this black and gold one. So, that's that. Let me, hold on, y'all. 
All right, so here's some more of the items. All of these came from the at-home store. You can never have too many moss ball fillers. Some of these, you know, I don't, you know, they're just accent fillers. More elephants. There's an elephant there. There's an elephant here. That's uh, that base, right? Not this base, this pitcher. It's a ceramic pitcher that came from Hobby Lobby. And that's actually going to go in someone's kitchen. Yes, elephants are a recurring theme in a lot of my designs because... I like elephants, but I don't really like them a, a lot, a lot like that. But I think they're cute, especially with um, some of the ones that they're putting out now. This rug on the floor. I can't really give you guys a good view of this, but let me try. Hold on. All right, hopefully this is a better view for you guys. I opened it up a little bit. So this one is black, white, creams, grays, and a hint of silver. It is an 8x10. It is from Oriental Weavers. And I think the model number is 8035B. So if you guys want to look that up and y'all can look the price up and everything, but that is not the price that I paid for it because again, I have a wonderful vendor friend. So I am going to be using them until their stock runs out. So I'm actually going to go and get quite a few more rugs so that I can use them for future projects. So that's that. And then I've got this lamp here, Project 62 tree lamp, I got this. This was $70 right here from Target. And then I picked up these two. I'm going to use these as stools. I honestly don't quite know what these are because they're open on the other side. So my mother said that they were planters. I don't think they're planters. They're definitely not stools, but I'm going to be using these as stools. These are actually going to end up getting painted to go with uh, what I needed to go with. So these are gonna get painted. This one was $40 from at home and this one was $50 from the at home store. So that is the haul. I'll give you another a peek into the garage of some other stuff that we have just a peek because uh, I'm not showing y'all everything. So if you look into the garage, I have two chairs over there, a bookshelf, I have a table and there's some four chairs over there. So y'all see that. Um, and then there's a, there are a few more things downstairs. So there you have it. That's the haul. Told you it was ratchet, but now you guys can see that when the installs happen, I will show you more details. You'll see them in a better light up out of my dirty house right now because I gotta, I gotta get this organized. So I gotta go y'all. Um, I gotta hit the shower and I gotta get to this meeting. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.